Adding players into Team Genius happens at the assessment level. So first, make sure that you're within the assessment that you want to import players into. From there, on the home page of the assessment, you should see the option to add players under your Things to Do menu, or if you click on Players, click on Add Players from there. There's four different options depending on your assessment type. You can import from a CSV file. We have a sync with Sports Engine and Team Snap, or if you already have teams set up in Team Genius and simply needed to add those into an ongoing evaluation, we have that option here to add players from Team Genius teams. If we were to add so from a CSV file, we would click on the option here. From there, you can drag your file into this area or select the CSV file from your folders. Once you have the file in place, it'll show you a preview of that file, then you can hit the continue button to proceed. Here, you are going to map the columns that you had in your CSV file to the appropriate columns in Team Genius. Typically, it does its best to line up with what your uh, column names are here. If it was incorrect, hit the drop down and then find the field that you want to map the column to. If you did not want to map a column, just hit the X button and then you'll see that column is now unmapped. Important fields to import required are first name and last name. And additional fields that we recommend are birth date and also email address. Birth date is important if you happen to have two players with the same first and last name. The system will default to birth date to determine if that is a new person. As you can see here, any fields that we already have um, in place are under other fields. If you needed to add a custom field at the very top, you'll see create new custom field here. You'll also see that here as well. Once you have your mappings in place, if you had the column name in your CSV file, just make sure it's checked to ignore the first row. And then from there, use these mappings. If there's any warnings, it will let you know here. In this case, our warning is letting us know that our birth date is invalid. So we can see that here, 10, 10, uh, 1000. So in this case, I would go back and readjust my CSV file for importing again. For tutorial sake, we'll hit save players. It'll let us know that there's unresolved warnings and then we'll hit save players. So now our import job is starting. We can see under the import history that that has started as well. And then the status will be complete uh, once that has been done. You'll be able to see how many players were created, how many were updated, how many were restored, and how many total were imported in this scenario six. You will then be able to see those players under player check-in. If you were mapping player pool to uh, that field inside of Team Genius, those pools will be created for you and you will be able to see uh, players already assigned to those pools. Same thing if you imported the number, uh, you will also be able to see that here. And these players are technically already checked in and ready to go since they have their pool assignment and also their number assignment. If we look at Sports Engine registration, this is going to ask you to sign into your Sports Engine account. And from there, you'll see all of the registration forms that you have in Sports Engine. You would just select the registration form that you wanted to use, hit import this registration, and then follow the mapping fields here. Uh, in this case, we did not have anything in that form, uh, but you get the gist. If we now go to add players again and do so from TeamSnap, a few different options here. You can either import from divisions, members, or my teams. So divisions will allow you to see all of your divisions in TeamSnap. You could select a specific division, the teams, and then once those are selected, you would hit select and continue. You also have the option to hit menu, and this will allow you to search by registration form name. So if you know what that is, you can import players here by selecting all the players who registered for a specific form, Let's hit select and continue. Or if you want to import one team at a time, you could do so here as well. Just select your team from the drop down and then hit select and continue. Last option is to add players from Team Genius teams. So if you already have those set up in Team Genius, you will see all of your team names here. If you know which ones you want to add into this assessment, we can just select those here. And then from there, hit add players, and then that will create this as the player pool name, and it will have all of the players attached to that pool. So those are the four ways to add players into Team Genius. Again, note that you need to do so within the assessment in order to have those successfully import. If you have any questions about that, let us know via help at teamgenius.com or click on the help icon at the bottom right of your Team Genius account. Thank you.